All this week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about the Day Treatment Night Watch program, which has been in existence here in St. Clair County since 1996. And to tell us more about it, joining me on the program today is one of the program managers, Monica Weaver. And, and Monica, is this program under the guise of the court system, or is it just something that kind of exists here? Our program, both <laughs> programs are operated under the jurisdiction of the 31st Circuit Court Family Division. So any of the youth that are that are placed in our program, they're court ordered by Elwood, um, the Honorable Elwood Brown or a court um, attorney referee. And uh, because of that, it kind of sounds like they're kind of forced to do some things, but it's behavior modification we want. But one piece of that is the educational piece. Explain mm-hmm. that. Well, we have a program on site. We have a charter school mm-hmm. on site, the St. Clair County Intervention Academy. This is a, a wonderful um, resource for us because all of the credits that our students earn, the progress that they make on their E2020 courses will be applied to their when they return to their um, community school. We find, particularly within the school program, that students who've been away from school, who've been struggling in school and not keeping up, that once they, they get in day and they're coming in every single day, they make substantial progress in school and the self-esteem goes up, motivation goes up. It's really a blessing to have them on site with us. Yesterday you mentioned uh, that they have about you know 30 to 50 kids total in the program. How many teachers do you have working with these kids? Each of our teachers has a classroom of 10. Mm, okay. So in our intense program, we have two teachers. In the traditional program, they have three, but we also have a special education consultant mm-hmm. teacher who is there, and um, the administrator, Troy Troy Perrick. Do you find that most kids are are able to get caught up or at least get some of their school skills uh, where they need to be? Because the educational program is primarily individualized with students working at their own pace, yes, we do find that that's an opportunity for them. Some of our students that come to us, though, and have are significantly behind in credits, we would consider the possibility of a GED program for them. More tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Harrington.